Hey, what's up spooky fam? Today is day four of Babysitter Horror Movie Review Week. Today we have a little bit of a throwback to 1992 with The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Hello. Have you checked the children? This one is definitely worth the watch, so I'm not really going to break the whole plot down. However, I will be spoiling the movie itself. Anyone can have an accident. The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, rated R. We're going to briefly talk about the movie and then we're going to get into why this one, why this whole situation is scary and some uncomfortable themes near the end. So if you enjoy, if you are enjoying, I should say, uh, Babysitter Horror Movie Review Week, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, check out the links down below if you'd like to see more of me or support the channel any further. And let's get into The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. After switching obstetricians mid-term, pregnant Claire Bartell is assaulted by her new doctor. Rather than go to prison, he kills himself. The shock and accusations cause his wife Peyton to have a miscarriage. Driven mad, Peyton takes up a nannying job for the Bartell family. Her plan is to ruin Claire's life from the inside, seducing her husband, stealing one of the children, and murdering Claire are included. So that one was a wild ride and I'm just gonna like insert a photo here because I was, I was in a mess by the end of that movie. I didn't expect it to take me on such an emotional journey. I felt dread, I felt paranoia, I felt like just an general anxiety watching that movie. It was so well done. I didn't think I would like it that much but um, <laughs> like I said to Alex, the only thing that removes me from getting give, giving this movie a five star is how bad the ADR and like the voiceover work is because some of the scenes are just really bad, really poorly done. So let's talk about why this movie is in this review week. This one revolves around a nanny and this is babysitter horror movie review week. So nannies fit in perfectly with that theme. Nannies in this situation, a nanny, their nanny is a live in nanny to help with the kids, which is even scarier if you consider the situation of the movie. Well, this is really about a woman seeking vengeance by kind of trying to befriend and work with the family and be on their good side while also ruining their lives. She's with them at their most vulnerable moments. She can see she has access to all of their information. She has free reign of the house. Like she can do literally whatever she wants. And that is scary in itself, especially because she wants the kids. She wants to be a mother. She lost her child. All she wants to do is steal that damn baby. And she has access to that baby. And she's breastfeeding this baby that's not hers. And just the whole situation is spooky in itself and very uncomfortable. She's also able to set up things to make it look like it wasn't her and to make it look like things were just a coincidence or things just happened that way and that she had no part in it because she's just the innocent nanny. So like I said, there is a little bit of a controversial thing theme in this movie. Um, we have arguably the best character in the movie, it's Solomon, um, who is a special needs character, uh, but not played by a special needs actor. But given the time, I really don't think that they were looking for representation like we are now. But there is a part where the R word is used and it's used to like mistreat Solomon and really belittle him. And it makes me feel so sad because he is just a sweet integral character to the story. And it's such a hard scene to watch for me. I actually looked away because they just, I have so many big emotions and big feelings that things like that really strike a chord with me. But honestly, just Solomon holding the baby at the end had me dying. I was bawling my eyes out. <laughs> I didn't think it would have such a good satisfying ending. I wanted to keep this video shorter today because tomorrow's video is going to be a little bit of a deep dive into the babysitter part one and two. 
So let me know what you think of The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Do you think it fits in with Babysitter Horror Movie Review Week the way that I do? I really enjoyed this one. Um, let me know if it made you as emotional as it made me. I was talking to one of my coworkers about this movie and she said that it made her just as emotional. So I wasn't alone there, but uh, yeah, I definitely would give this one probably a four out of five. Loved it. Don't know if I would rewatch soon. Like, I feel like I'd have to give that one a couple of years <laughs> for it to hit me the way that it did. But yeah, this one was a definitely, this one definitely was a good watch and a great addition to this week. So stay tuned for tomorrow for the Babysitter 1 and 2 and wrapping up this whole review week. Next month, we have Psychological Horror Movie Review Week. So we've got some good picks going and I'm really excited about that. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Sayonara, spooky fam.